Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. Today I'm going to be talking about regenerative braking. Now if you haven't watched my video on alternating currents and how alternating currents are generated, you should definitely watch that video first. So I'll include a link in the description uh, for you to check out. Now, regenerative braking is actually extremely simple and extremely beneficial uh, for a car. So the basic idea is you've got your wheel, you've got a gearbox which connects the wheel to the motor. It could just be a simple one-to-one -one, uh, gear, uh, just basically two gears so you can have a reduction or something like that going on. Um, you've got a motor, you've got a controller, and you've got a battery. And that's basically the whole system. So what we're looking at here um, just like in that video that you should have already watched on AC power generation, uh, this is going to be our very simplified AC motor. Here we've got our wheel, here's our gear reduction. Um, so this is our motor, there we've got our controller, and there's our battery. So as we're powering the car, we're sending power from the battery to the controller, powering this motor, which is rotating uh, this axis here, this axle, and that's going to rotate the wheel and move your car forward. So, regenerative braking, all we're doing, when you watched my video on uh, AC power generation, you noticed I had a hand crank right here, and basically you just hand crank in order to create uh, the alternating current to uh, supply power to something. So all we're doing is we're getting rid of that hand crank, and in its place, we're throwing a wheel. So, as the wheel's rotating, let's say you're going 60 miles an hour, this wheel is rotating um, accordingly, and so it's going to be rotating this uh, axle here, which is going to rotate this motor, this rotor inside. So that will, of course, induce a current um, because of the force applied to it, and that induced current will travel to the controller. The controller will translate that into a usable uh, voltage that it will send to the battery and charge the battery up. So it's a very simple system. Um, the energy required to rotate this motor is what's slowing you down. So you're putting energy in to rotate this motor and that energy that you put in causes your car to slow down. So, how do you generate more? Well, the greater your stopping force, the greater your power generation is going to be because the greater your force on uh, this wire here is going to be. So, one thing to keep in mind is emergency stops when you slam on your brakes, uh, it's not going to use the regenerative or it may use it partially but not much. Basically, it's going to go straight to your disc brakes and try and stop you as quick as possible because it may not be possible with the motor. Uh, so, some other comments. Basically, the great thing about regenerative braking is you get uh, better, well, you're recovering energy, so you get better fuel economy if it's a hybrid type vehicle or you get better range if it's an electric type vehicle. Uh, also, another great benefit that a lot of people don't mention is you have reduced brake wear. Since you're using your motor to slow down your car and you're not using your brake pads, well, you're not going to be wearing out your brake pads as quickly. So that's another great benefit of regenerative braking. So in my next video, I'm going to talk about just how much energy you can recover using regenerative braking. Thanks for watching.